Welcome into the Recap Rush Hour for Thursday, October 12th. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by your Chicagoland Chevy dealers. Drive what number one drives. Drive what Bears quarterback Justin Fields drives. All right, let's start with the Bears. I got good injury news today. And how many times have I been here on the Rush Hour telling you questionable or bad injury news? Well, today, limited in practice, but that is an upgrade, man. Kyler Gordon. Eddie Jackson and Cole Komet, and I do think all three are likely to play on Sunday against the Vikings Bears, a two and a half point underdog at Soldier Field against Kirk Cousins in Minnesota. Also, full participant in practice, Jalen Johnson. Bears look like they're getting their best cover corner back in the lineup, and that is big because Jordan Addison, now the number one receiver with Justin Jefferson on IR for many, well, Jordan Addison was limited yesterday, full participant today, so it looks like he's a full go for Sunday at Soldier Field. Weather not supposed to be good. A lot of rain, chance for a slow track and heavy wind, which could mean a lot of running and a lot of play action to set up limited passing opportunities. Tonight, we have got Thursday Night Football, and guess what? Shake it off. That's right, she's coming. Taylor Swift will be at the game to cheer on her man, Travis Kelsey, at Arrowhead. It will be the Broncos, a 10.5 point underdog. That seems a little short to me. Is that a trap line? I don't know. You would think it would be a bigger spread after what they did to the Bears, 41 to 10. And the Broncos with that defense? I don't know. Just saying. A little questionable to me, but it will be the Broncos at the Chiefs tonight on Thursday Night Football. How many Taylor Swift sightings are we going to see? tonight on the broadcast. Yes, she's popular. We get it. She's a great person and her and Travis have this amazing love story. Anyway, let's get into a couple of other notes. How about this one for you? Baseball tonight. The Phillies can put away the 100 plus win Atlanta Braves and the city of brotherly love at Citizens Bank Park. If they can beat Atlanta's best healthy arm, Spencer Strider goes for Brian Snitker's club. If Atlanta wins, Back to Atlanta for Game 5, which would decide the series. Bryce Harper has been a monster so far here in the 2023 postseason. I'm picking the Braves to win tonight, but I think Philly could upset them back in Atlanta. How about that? But I am picking the Braves to win the game tonight. Also, our four seasons, heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and electric story of the day, Coach Prime. Coach Prime says late night starts in college football are the stupidest, dumbest thing Ever. Friday night, it's the Colorado Buffaloes playing a late night game that he says might not end until Saturday morning because the two teams throw the ball a lot, and that means the clock may not be running as much, so it could take a long time to end. Coach Prime, I'm with you, baby. But boy, Friday night in Boulder, late night football, then go out, sure sounds like a lot of fun to me in the mountains. Have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you all greatly. Next Blackhawks recap, Saturday night when they play the Canadians in Montreal. I almost said Expos. Have a great rest of your day. Take that.